What's good, YouTube? Adrian the Kid, and I'm lit. We back in this bit, man. Today we got the man Ryan Thran. You know what I'm saying? I survived sensory, sensory depth, depth, deprivation. You know what I'm saying? Now I don't, I don't know what that is, but sensory is like your senses. I'm, I'm pretty sure. And deprivation is like the, the loss of. You feel me? That, that's what I'm assuming. So, you know, I said, let's get straight to it. Sensory to deprivation is straight up scary. What All does right. it even what mean to experience nothing? Especially when my screen time is 10 hours a day, know. which led my father nah, to Nah, but my, my screen time is probably crazy. last a few hours in one of these. <laughs> okay. He might be right, but I'm too insecure to accept that. So, I bet him that I could. And whoever loses the bet has to paint themselves green and say in front of all of you... What are you doing in my swamp on camera? <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm outside of a building that's probably on the cover w of a Goosebumps book. It didn't take long to find the entrance and immediately be terrified by a cat waving at me. As well as uh, a hey, bro, ducks. Hey. Why are there so many ducks oh, here? That is a... If you see one of these, bro, just know, just know that that, that, that place is cursed. You feel me? Me. As well as a plethora of ducks. Why are there so a many what? ducks here? That is a super duck. I nervously waited for a few minutes when I was greeted by a man named Tom, legally known as the master of senses. I was then guided Heck to no. the world's largest sensory deprivation pool. I'm not scared. You're scared. I feel like I walked into another portal at some point back there. Bro, is this a haunted this house? Isn't the most ominous door you've ever seen. It looked like a shower. I'm gonna be doing the maximum legal time in this thing. Oh, Three hours. Okay. One with no gravity, one with no bro, gravity. Why is everybody talking about strange things, no bro? I'm not watching. Sound. Dude. Complete sensory deprivation. Right, which apparently can have some side effects. I'm a little Complete sensory deprivation. Which apparently Extreme anxiety, hallucination, bizarre thoughts. Apparently can have some side effects. I wanna try it. We're I'm a little scared of hallucinating. Like in a Simpsons episode, they hallucinate, so it must be true. But first, I checked Thanks. how deep the water is because I can barely swim. Oh, it's Tom water. Thought was hilarious. <laughs> and now I'm ready. Yay! So is he taking a shower? Whoa! See ya. <laughs> so when you get into a floating pool. Generally, the progression is as follows. You get in, you sit down, you lay back, and as you lay back, you float up to the surface of the water. Oh my God. What the heck, man? So this man is just floating in the... I feel like a single cell organism right now. Oh, nah, facts. Bro, all, bro, all them single cell organisms just be floating, bro. Hold on, I'm finna look it up. Hold on. Yeah. Let me just play, bro. Took me back to science class on that one. You know what I'm saying? It, bro, bro. These things just be floating. You know what I'm saying? It, they, they just be floating by themselves, bro. You know what I'm saying? Phone that's going to go off at the three hour mark. Three hours? <laughs> the three hour mark? <laughs> I mean, facts. You running up a bag, bro. You know what I'm saying? She, she got you guys know I can't salt. swim, really. Well, I can't float either. I am negative buoyant somehow. So these pools have tons of salt, like 2,500 pounds of salt. Even in Stranger Things, they show them filling up a pool of salt. And salt makes you float. I worked really hard on this visual. Please affirm. We gotta try that one day. Matter of fact, it's like uh, dropping an ice cube into a glass. This man's just the floating, first right? time, it's going to take maybe five to ten minutes for them to start to release their body in a way that trusts the water. I have never successfully floated before. And I this have. is, well, it's easy. I was only 18 minutes into this challenge when I had the actual scariest experience of my life. What the <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I would say 10 minutes to 20 minutes is, you know, mind dump. A mind dump? Well, I want to try this, bro. Why did he put a rubber ducky in it? BS, BS, BS. And then maybe around 25 to 30 minutes, the mind just goes, okay, I give up. Nah, I you know, this know. is why you don't say stuff like this that. I'm <laughs> completely asleep here. Totally uh, vulnerable. <laughs> but the duck woke me up, and now it's time to turn off the lights. <laughs> Bro, what the 
Nah, bro. No lights. You know what I'm saying? Just floating stuff, stuff touching you, bro. I might, I might, I might piss myself. Turning off the lights added a completely new element to this that I genuinely didn't expect to be that dramatic, but it was. Where did he put the camera? <laughs> Being glued to a phone or glued to a screen, I think increases, you know, your own personal suffering. So I haven't Facts. gotten to the silence yet, and I feel so weird because I've realized I have developed a habit of listening to something at all times or watching something at all times. Yeah. Like this screenshot I, yeah, is my life. Dang, I'm gonna look at mine, bro. Today I got a total of five hours and 15 minutes. Are the happiest. That's terrible. This has been proven in study after study when we are fully present in a moment right here right now and the moment is not on the screen no nah, but like devices be like bringing you down type stuff you know what i'm saying because it, it's not real it's not reality you can got virtual reality bro. Right? like like what's wrong with the real reality refreshing now, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes there's, visionary like, you know what I'm saying, problems with, with real reality. Around two hours and four minutes-ish is where something actually crazy happened. I really feel like my mind was the only thing working at this point. I suddenly felt like I infiltrated this memory that I haven't thought of in years because I felt so still. Please heck? don't judge me when you watch this. I feel like this reminded me of when I was little, in the summertime, so I didn't have to go to school. My grandma... Like my she like raised me. My grandma would like take naps that day. <laughs> and I hated taking naps. <laughs> but I always took a nap with her. And I just remember feeling so still. Nah, this is creepy, bro. What the heck? It's making him remember stuff. But like 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 being glued to a screen probably just tears up your memory. Well, that's embarrassing, uh, but it was real. Not nah, fact, bro. No, nah, bro. Like, like, don't apologize for something that's like real. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like you know what I'm saying. People gonna going like either gonna accept you or they they could not go. You know what I'm saying? And at, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. You a man. You know what I'm saying. You gonna go through emotions, even though you know what I'm saying. Men like, I be high my emotions, but you know what I'm saying. That's real. You feel me? When you cut off sensory input to the body, it's pretty amazing, right? So you have no gravity, no light, no sound. You're reducing the workload that your brain and central nervous system has to process. No gravity, no light, no sound. Hey. Yeah, I'm freaking out. <gasps> this man's been in there for two hours, bro. Hey. All I can hear is the noises inside my ear that are like... Noises inside your ear. I fell asleep immediately. Hour three, <laughs> let me tell you about hour three. It hits different, okay? It's like everything in nah, the world. Nah, bro, his, wave, bro, it you know what I'm saying? Like, like, level. when y'all are in water for like a while, you know what I'm saying? Y'all fingers start to wrink, get wrinkled. But this, this dude's whole body's probably wrinkled. You know, and then you sink down into a deep relaxation, and then the mind comes back and asserts itself. Uh, you can tell me I've been here for 30 minutes. And now you're about to watch me reach the threshold of hallucinations, left. confusion, constipation. I don't remember the full list, but nah, bro. Imagine going it. in there hungry, thirsty, got a poop. I had to pee. explain what I was. This man fell asleep moment, again. Or what I was seeing is basically on screen. I feel like my mind just started creating content because what even is nothing? That's far editing. I don't know how we did that. Of every sense, every thought, my identity on this planet, everything. It was just gone for a bit. The last 20 minutes was a spiritual experience. And it took me Damn. another 10 minutes to even realize my timer was going off. Dang. But what I did next is the real story. I mean, bro, I had earplugs in. I did it. I immediately started checking my notifications. Wow. The sound throughout this video. That's because there were 62 of them. One for every notification I missed while in this tank. And so I guess the question is, 
Were they worth missing? Is this thing on? No. What I Dang. Doing? What are you doing? What am I swamp? Love you, Dad. But it's like, bro, it's the question like, like, was it really worth it? You know? Vacation I missed while in this tank. And so I guess the question is, were they worth missing? Yes. I feel like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, we be so attached to our phones. It's like we really have no sense of reality, bro. You know what I'm saying? We start losing that more and more as we, like, stay stay more and more attached to the phones. You know what I'm saying? That's common. That's common sense. You feel me? And, like, you know what I'm saying? Bro was like, bro was like, uh, bro remembers his grandma who, like, raised him and stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, on your on your phone, you probably think, you probably worried about, you know what I'm saying? Snapchat or what's going on on Instagram, bro. You know what I'm saying? But he, he like, went through, he, he experienced something he, he, uh, he forgot. You feel me? So, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, bro, me and my brother, we used to stay outside, bro. Like, you know, we used to have, like, like a Wii and computer and stuff. But, um, we used to, like, mainly be outside. And then as we got older, we, like, stayed inside more. And that kind of just, like, changed us a little bit. You feel me? Took away, it took away some of our social skills. I'm, I'm be, I'm be real. You know what I'm saying? But look, man. That was the man Ryan Trahan. I survived sensory deprivation. He just came off that that thirty day uh delivering opinion to Mr. Beast, you feel me? Yeah, man. I wanna try that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let me know if y'all wanna see that for a video, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna see what I can do, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? But look, man, like this video, comment down below, subscribe for more, follow my social name to get on you know what I mean?